Good day, Legends of the Internet. Struthy here. How the bloody hell are you? Hope you're doing fine this wonderful morning. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. baby. Up nice and early. We'll get into this reaction here today. We had a suggestion here from Kyle Levin. He said, Have a good 2021, my man. I shall. Off to an awesome start. <laughs> Third day in. Uh, please react to Ramstein Foyer Fry live in Moscow in 2016. So I uh, don't know whereabouts it was uh, in Moscow, but yep. Yeah. We're checking that out. So this track, uh, Feuer Frei, which means open fire in German, if you didn't know. This was the fifth single of their third album, uh, Mutter. And uh, yeah, I thought we'd check this out. Uh, I don't know exactly where, but I did uh, check that I see if I had have a Rammstein reaction before on the channel, and it looks like I don't, so this will be the first. And one interesting article, which I've uh, just had here, um, saved ready to look at, which I must have forgot about. Uh, the title of it is What Classical Music and Rammstein Have in Common. It's a pretty good little read, um, I'll find a link to that, but um, here's one little quote here just from it. It just says, uh, in the comparison to Wagner, uh, both polarise, you either love their music or you hate it. That's not the only thing Richard Wagner and the band Rammstein have in common. With both, the music plunders the depths of the human soul and doesn't shy away from extreme emotions. If you love Wagner, you'll probably like Rammstein, and maybe vice versa. That's just one of the little quotes there from the article, but yeah, it's kind of cool. I like to do that little uh, comparison thing there, so anyway, thank you very much, Kyle, for the uh, suggestion, so let's freaking do this. Rammstein, live in Moscow from 2016 with the track for your fry. Okay, let's freaking do this. Three, two, one. We've seen some Russian crowds here. They go pretty hard. He's a beast of a front man, I've got to say. It's very theatrical music. Air raid sirens going. Fucking that snare crack, man. Am I actually allowed to have fire in the damn crowd? Jeez. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. He was fucking around with his gear. <laughs> Bad monkey. Man, Do Hust came out in like 97. That was my first introduction to Rammstein, a lot of other people too. So they've been going freaking strong. Oh, he's discovered a second note. Shit, he's got it. It's not a flamethrower, is it? Yep, it is. Didn't expect it any less. Jeez. <laughs> Bro, I just rocked up to the gig just to play guitar. 
please don't strap post-apocalyptic gear into my face. <laughs> I've got to say, I had not seen that before on stage. That's got me really intrigued on how far people will actually go extremely on stage with pyrotechnics and fire, smoke pots, all that sort of stuff. That's cool. The song was pretty freaking banging. Um, wow. Banging, that's a wrong term to use for Rammstein. That's <laughs> pretty freaking rocking. Oh, that was heavy, that was heavy as, um, of course, uh, yeah, in their own eclectic style. And yeah, once again, that article on comparing them to uh, classical music and stuff, please do check that out if you're interested in that sort of stuff, if you like a little bit of a read that's, uh, you know, a little bit eye-opening and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, I don't know, what, this rig on the front of their faces, this snout thing with this flame flamethrower, like the pipes, I'm going to have to go back and check out and see if there's a few frames from that I can check out, or even if there's a write-up somewhere on Wiki which uh, explains the rig that they use for that. It's just hardcore, man. I mean, you've got to focus on playing the chords and everything, and obviously there's someone off to the side maybe triggering it and everything, but you are putting them in a little bit of danger. <laughs> <laughs> the band members, I mean, shit, it's not like they've got a stunt double out there doing that for them. Um, I, I don't know, can bands actually pay for people to do that? I mean, obviously bands like ACDC have replacement members when they can't all get on board, but they have someone who acts like Angus Young, you know, does all the dance moves that he does and the, and the poses and the, you know, I don't know, I don't know, Rammstein doesn't seem like that sort of band, they, they seem a bit more gritty than that, they seem like they've got a bit more cojones, <laughs> in a sense, to say, yeah, sure, strap the freaking pyrotechnics onto my face, I'm going out on stage and I'm going to impress this Russian crowd tonight, it is 2016, baby, and we are lighting up the place, <laughs> alrighty, peace out, use rock, thank you very much for that suggestion once again, Kyle, and uh, yeah, uh, keep sending on through those suggestions after a good strong start for 2021 with some awesome music and uh, I do have a few more Christmassy type theme tracks that I probably will check out before the uh, end of the uh, oh, first half of the month at least in January so stay tuned for them if you're a Christmas fan because <laughs> you don't want to rub it in smear it in leave the Christmas tree on until the end of January okay peace out use Rockies know it have a good one laters it's got to be staring at me Face, yeah, it, it, it make a crab. <laughs> Here you go, there's your crab. <laughs> crab didn't work. Hey! Super Fender.